Hey little wolves! This is the next part in the Batman Celebration Week and if you haven't read the title this video is going to be all about Batman's beloved, loyal and badass psychics. Okay, so quickly, this is going to be just about the male sidekicks. I will be doing a separate video, not for Batman Week, on the two, I believe there's two, there might be more female sidekicks of Batman, as in like the female Robins, not just like the Batgirls. So this is just going to focus on the male Robins. Dick Grayson made his first appearance in the 1940s in Detective Comics number 38 and was created by Bill Finger and Jeremy Robinson. Dick lost both his parents suddenly at the circus that his parents performed in. Bruce saw himself in the kid and didn't want him to go down the wrong path. So he decided to take him in and train him to be a nighttime vigilante. Wait, what? Robin was everything that the Bat wasn't. He was light while Batman was dark and he balanced out the gritty, dark realness of the Bat. Dick eventually becomes the leader of the Teen Titans, a group that consists of, you guess it, teenage superheroes and most of them are actually sidekicks to various members of the Justice League. During Marv Wolfman's time writing for Teen Titans, he decided to age Dick Grayson up, uh, so he left behind his Robin persona and created a new persona for himself, Nightwing. So he became a individual superhero. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so yeah, I don't mind. I've just got to get dressed. You'll have to let me know. All right, I'll give you a ring back. I'm in my trunk with goggles. I've been bleaching the kitchen. Fair enough. I'll give you a ring back in a minute. All right. What are you recording? A video. See you later. Bye. Bye. What is it about? What is it about? Bye! Bye. See you, bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. With Nightwing off doing his own thing, Batman was left without a Robin. In Batman 357 in 1983, when Jason Todd was introduced. Now, pre-Crisis on Infinite Earth, Jason was basically a carbon copy of Dick. His parents were acrobats in the circus that got murdered by Killer Croc and he was taken in by Bruce Wayne to train to be his second Robin. But this all changed with A Crisis on Infinite Earth, which was a multi-series all about the multiple universes, alternate timelines, and various things like that in the DC universe. This event changed a lot of things for DC, but it gave Jason a much needed makeover in my opinion. Gone was a happy-go-lucky preppy Dick Grayson clone, and in his place was a rebel streetwise kid that tried to steal the tires off the Batmobile. Fans hated this Jason so much that DC even opened up a poll where you could vote to kill this Robin off and the majority of them said to kill him. Obviously this was the death in the family arc which is an amazing story by the way which you should read. Jason would of course come back as the Red Hood and become an anti-hero and my favourite Robin and hero from the comics. If you didn't know that already, probably did. Our third Robin, Tim, was first introduced in 1989 in Batman 436. During this time, Batman was becoming more violent and out of control because he was mourning the death of the second Robin, Jason. Tim figured out Batman's identity pretty easily. I mean, like, maybe you should uh, try and hide it better. Or just don't tell everyone. He seems to tell a lot of people his identity. When he was a boy, he enjoyed a day out to the circus, the same circus that Dick Grayson and the Flying Graysons were performing in and he watched as Dick Grayson's parents were killed. He then noticed that Batman gained a psychic at the same time that Bruce Wayne gained a new ward. He watched them from a distance and noticed that Batman was becoming more violent towards criminals. And this leads him to realise that Batman needs a Robin to ground him. Tim takes on the mantle of Robin, much to Batman's dismay, who tries to resist this but Drake proves that he is more than capable of being his new sidekick and the new boy wonder. He was Robin for a lot of more modern audiences and he even ditched the old Robin suit and created a new high-tech version for himself. Tim became a member of the Teen Titans and the Young Justice and eventually branched out and became his own hero called the Red Robin. Okay, and our last Robin at the moment, because I'm pretty sure it's a starfish? I don't know where I heard that, but apparently there's a starfish that's a robin now. 
I don't know. <laughs> anyway, our last Robin is Damian Wayne, who was first introduced as a baby in 1987 in Batman's Son of the Demon. He was introduced as Damian Wayne in Batman 655 in 2006. Damian is the love child of Talia al Ghul and Bruce Wayne. He's extremely arrogant, thinking that the fact that he is actually related to Batman makes him uh, better than the previous Robins. Damon was trained from birth to take over the League of Assassins from his grandfather, Raj al Ghul, but was eventually given to his father to be trained. From his mother he learned how to kill, and from his father he learned how to be a hero. Okay, so that's it for today. A short little video about the boy wonders. Uh, like I said, I will be doing one on the girls. Uh, this is just for Batman week though, because it's his 80th birthday. Congratulations. Not today, in a couple of days. Congratulations. <laughs> if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down your opinion. Comment down below what you thought of this video, what you think of all the Robins, mainly Jason Todd. Um, <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. Click the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. My Instagram's down below if you want to follow me, and I will see you next time. Bye, little walls. Bye. Bye.